You've got the draft menu, which allows you to do an autocomplete. This is helpful for mock drafting before your draft starts. A couple of options here to stop on your draft picks. Uh, the drop-off analysis um, requires quite a few more CPU cycles. If you want to go real fast, you can turn that off. And you can also tell it how many rounds you want it to complete. Next on the draft menu is an option to clear the draft history. Uh, that's for after you've done a mock draft and you want to clear the board. Reset predictions. Um, you can pick alternative predictions, so you can ask Draft Predictor to uh, suggest the next prediction that it would make. Tell it, you know, I don't like the one you're making. Give me another one. Reset predictions resets them all to the defaults. Discount future picks is uh, an option to tell it that any pick that happens ahead of the uh, pick on the clock is something that should not be considered. This is helpful for keeper leagues or dynasty leagues, especially where you're keeping prospects who aren't really players that you're uh, planning to start this year, and so they shouldn't be considered uh, when making decisions about who you should be drafting early in the rounds. Select player, there's many places to do this, but here's a menu. You select the player and it'll bring up a dialog box where you can pick a player in a round that you want to draft. That's probably the slowest way to enter a pick. Oh, what's left on the draft menu? We've got the ability to export the draft results to a comma separated file, which you can use in Excel, or to MyLocker, which is our online tool at Fantasy Sharks, which we use for week to week uh, lineup suggestions. So you can see your roster after you've finished your draft at your MyLocker page on Fantasy Sharks. You can also print uh, the draft history, cheat sheets, uh, and team rosters. The view menu turns uh, predictions on and off. The predictions are shown in the highlighted colors. You can see in the yellow, blue, and purple. We'll talk more about that. Uh, just for now, I'm going to turn off extended predictions. That's something you can do if you uh, want to speed up the processing just a little bit and you don't care too much about predictions that happen after the next two rounds. Other options on the view menu. Observations is something that um, I haven't worked on much lately, to be honest, but it's what the program is uh, taking note of as far as runs go. It's just a little box. <laughs> that was about to be a run on RBs at the beginning of the draft. What do you know? Okay, what else we got here? Depth charts. Uh, this is cool. Um, I use this quite a bit, getting later into the draft. What happens on this dialog is you can pin it and keep it up on your desktop, and it'll cross off any players that have been drafted. So if you're looking for uh, a player and you're doing a little bit of research in between picks, a depth chart is a good place to look, and you can see who's still available, who has not been drafted yet. On the view menu, we also can bring up the schedule. And we'll go week by week, or we can select just a certain team. All weeks, if we want, for the Falcons. And you can pin that as well. Finally, on the view, we can turn all of the graphs on and off. Uh, I'll do that real quick, and you can we'll look around the draft board here. There's lots of graphs that you can toggle on and off individually. I'm not going to go through what all of them do just now. But there's a bar above the list boxes here that turn graphs on and off. If it's red, the graph is on, and if it's blue, the graph is off. So you can turn them all on from the view menu and you also have an option on the cheat sheet to show players who have been drafted with a crossed out font if you like and players who do not have any rank at all they're shown in gray you can choose not to show them at all the reports menu is uh, fun to use after a draft is over it shows you uh, team strength, the accuracy of Draft Predictor in its predictions. A bargain is a pick that um, you got ahead of its or after its average draft position. So let's say someone in average drafts is being drafted with the fifth pick of the second round and you got him with the fifth pick of the third round. That's a bargain. Draft time keeps track of uh, how long each owner was on the clock. HTML draft board is cool. We'll come back to that. Uh, the setup menu is where you get to dialogues that uh, discuss in other videos, uh, how to set up your league, your teams, uh, your live draft settings. 
So look at other videos to uh, see how each of these dialogues is used. Finally, we have the help menu, uh, which has our quick start guide and links for more help online, including the videos you're watching now.